Hey everyone, this is your truly the Latina sensation Mercedes Martinez and you are watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi and I would like to welcome you to my interview with the Latina sensation Mercedes Martinez. Well, be me. That is you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm, it's an honor for me to do this for you. I'm so excited to have you yes. on. So. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Anytime. We are here at Smash Wrestling's Canusa in Toronto. So how does it feel to be back, first of all? Oh, it's great. I mean, I, I don't like the weather, but... Uh, <laughs> <I> <laughs> You're don't not like, the only one. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the cold. I'm not a big fan of the cold. But I am actually very excited to be back at Smash Wrestling and uh, once again be part of this uh, Canusa uh, shindig. <laughs> first time I ever saw you wrestle was Canusa. Really? So, yes. I feel well, like this it's is very full circle. One. Exactly. Uh, it's last year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, tonight you'll be facing the Demon Assassin. Rosemary, last time I had an encounter with her, it's a little creepy, a little freaky. So how are you feeling going into this match? Um, I got God on my side. <laughs> 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 what? What? I mean, if you think, if you look at my tattoos, I got a lot of crosses on me. Mm -hmm. I'm not a super religious person, but uh, when you go out against the Demon Sunset, I think this gives you need me. That on your side. Yeah, yeah. Whatever I can get to get the advantage. <laughs> For your 17-year ring veteran, yes. so do you still get nervous walking down that ramp? Oh, for sure, for you sure. I actually so. get, yeah, I get nervous putting my gear on. I still get nervous. Um, my trainer once told me that uh, the moment you stop getting nervous is the moment that you need to leave this business because then you think you have nothing else to learn. I love that. I've yeah. actually had some other wrestlers say that. Yeah, as and, well, it, and it's the it's truth. And it's the truth. 17 years, and I still get nervous, and I'm still like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Don't mess up, don't mess up, don't get hurt. <laughs> and then you walk out and then it's all gone. <laughs> like, yes. As yeah. soon as the music hits. As soon as right? the music hits, the persona changes and you're out there and you're just going to have a good time. That's great. And you've done it enough times where you know it's going to happen. Oh, like yeah. it's a pattern, so you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah, but you still still get nervous because you don't, <laughs> you just don't know. You just don't know. The music may never come. Yeah, I, oh my goodness. <laughs> I want to know what to do if my music never came. <laughs> well, I was so excited to see you in the WWE Mae Young Classic yes. and also just on NXT. Yeah, it's really recently. cool to see you starting being, to be on there as you recently faced Ember Moon. So so tell me a bit about the experience and just the importance of it to you. Uh, well, the May Young Classic was uh, history in the making. I think uh, WWE wanted to uh, give us that platform finally. Um, I think it was just time for them, the great opportunity. Uh, it's one of those things where you see the opportunity and you take it and you uh, take it to the next level. And that's what I did. Uh, WWE has been very instrumental um, in the last six months uh, with helping me uh, learn, still learn and still grow with my character and in my in-ring stuff, TV and cameras. And it's just a lot of things that you don't think about about when you're on a lower level, not that it's bad, but when you get to that big stage, everything changes, the perspective changes, and it, it's, it's an amazing, it humbles me. It's very overwhelming, like still to now, like I think back and it's like, man, I cried that whole week. <laughs> Understandably so, it's a big thing. Yeah, I mean, if you see like even the semifinals, like I cried on camera, I wasn't supposed <laughs> to, but it happens. Of course. Because I was very emotional, I was very proud, it was just one of those moments where just all, oh, everything just came. Everything oh. just came. Oh. Yeah. Well, one of the amazing <laughs> things about wrestling, aside from moments like that, is that it takes you all over the place. So where would you still love to take your craft that you have yet to? Um, I haven't gone to Mexico. Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, okay. I've been to Australia, I've been to England, I've been to Japan. Mexico is one of those places that I have yet to go. And I don't know why. I mean, I, I can speak Spanish. You know, I can speak She's Spanish. ready. I'm ready. I'm always ready. <laughs> you know, um, but that's one of the places, and I will always love to go back to Japan. Japan's a, a favorite place of mine to go. In Australia, I go there at least every two years or so uh, to do a tour for my, uh, for my friend that's out there. So, yeah, Mexico. Anybody Mexico. who's Mexico, hook me up. <laughs> <laughs> She's singing to you. <laughs> Bring her out. Yeah, yeah, I speak the language. You don't have to teach me anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I absolutely love introducing you even as the Latina sensation. So I have to ask, when did that first start? Did someone call you it? Did you come up with it? Uh, my trainer did. Um, uh, uh, when I first started, uh, even with my name, uh, Mercedes, uh, it was one of those things where it's one of those, it's a car, and it's one of those that... No one can write it, no one can get it. They have to see it in person. And you are that person. They want to see Mercedes. And you know, I'm, I'm Hispanic, I'm Puerto Rican, and the Latina sensation, there was really no Hispanic uh, wrestlers when I was uh, growing up, really. I mean, besides Puerto Rico, like Carlos Colon. Um, so he wanted to make a different, a different moniker to reach out to the Hispanics, say, hey, this is your Mercedes, this is your class, this is, this is what's going to bring our That's people. Great. Yeah, it's, 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 I mean, it's a really long, drag out story, but short of short, I'm proud to represent my people. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, we have to talk about your little fascination with Batman because you recently celebrated Batman Day. <sighs> yes, I repping did. it with the lovely hat today. Hey, hey. 
Tell me you're a big comic book fan? I am, I am. Batman is uh, my big superhero. I believe that, uh, you know, he's a human being, and the fact that he can be a super, uh, superhero, he's a role model. You don't have to have superpowers to save and, and be the big dog, I guess you can say. <laughs> so Batman is my favorite, I know. When did that start? When did you start reading comic books? Um, when I was young. I was um, uh, probably about eight, nine years old. I started reading comic books, and Batman was one of the first comic books besides Wolverine and X-Men and all that, but Batman was the one that stuck to me. So he's like the ultimate superhero. He's the ultimate. Too. For me, yeah. And the ultimate villain, of course, is Joker. Oh, okay. I love, of course. Hand in hand, right? <laughs> yes, I actually have gear that represents Batman. Like, this is my gear right now is uh, old school Batman. I, see, I never put two and two together, yeah, actually. It yeah, really not, is. Yeah, it's the old school, you know, back in the day Batman I gear. Love colors. That. And I have Joker gear, too. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Maybe of course. we'll see, like, a Catwoman tribute down the line. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Catwoman. Oh, okay. Batgirl. I overstepped. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we'll leave that for another day. Yeah, we'll leave that for another, another day. day. <laughs> <laughs> well, when it comes to music, I want to know, who are some people that you've been digging lately or you listen to when working out? Um, I listen to a lot of reggaeton, a lot of uh, bachata. Sometimes it's it's a lot of Spanish music. Okay. Let's put it that way. Uh, you know, uh, Romeo, uh, Romeo Santos. uh trying to think of who else is out there uh, but a lot of people might not know him that's the thing but it's a lot of reggaeton a lot of bachata a lot of salsa that's what I listen to when I, I work out I don't listen to a lot of English music because I can hear that on the radio whenever I feel like yeah. it but when I'm in my moment and I'm working out or I'm thinking it's always my Spanish my heritage music pretty much it reminds me of my dad who passed away oh, so I sorry. like to play his stuff yeah you mentioned people might not know it so everything that she just mentioned you can go check out yeah that's the beauty of it oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> you can have one person write some entrance music for you who would you love that to be oh man I don't know. I don't know because I like hip hop. I like Latin music. I, I wouldn't even know. Probably, hmm, Nicky Jam. Okay. Yeah. That came he's, fairly quick. Yeah, yeah. I like his music. It's it's a uh, hip hop, Latin hip hop almost. So, so uh, you're merging both worlds. I'm merging everything. <laughs> it's beauty of it. And just to wrap things up, is there anything you want to leave with the fans who will be viewing? Just any parting words? No, I just want to say thank you. I mean, you know, 17 years is because of the fans that kept me here for this long. And, you know, I got my opportunity with WWE May Young, um, doing NXT now and still kind of, you know, doing their stuff. Um, but still loving, you know, these indie shows and being more intimate with my fans. It's because of you that I'm still here after 17 years and injuries are not going to keep me away. And as long as you guys keep supporting me, I'll still be here for the long run. I love it. You're our, you're our own Batman. I am. You I really am. I am Batman. Road runner. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. Oh, uh, thank you. No problem. It was, it was my fun. my pleasure. And yes. remember, to everyone viewing, you can visit us at amusicblogout.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See ya.